Hello and welcome back to the Off Grid family. Recently it was my wife's birthday and she loves outdoorsy stuff. Um, I bought her a bat detector and a weather station along with various other stuff. She loves being able to look out the window and see what the temperature is, um, how much rainfall we've had, the wind speed, that kind of thing. So I thought, do you know what, let's upgrade it and I'll buy her a proper one, I'll buy her an expensive one. And I spent a little bit too much money. Um, I spent nearly 60 pounds on a proper professional weather station so that she can see all of the different things, temperature, wind speed, water, literally every inside and outside temperature. And it's got an indoor box, which with all the blurb, you know, it looks a little bit like a, um, tablet computer kind of styly you know um so i'm gonna unbox it set it up and review it um, i'm hoping to god it's good because of the bat detector i bought her was a bit of rubbish and i'm really disappointed with that but hopefully this is not before we go on i'd just like to thank my patrons joseph darren and david you guys are amazing i really appreciate everything you've done for the channel before when you used to just like comment and subscribe um and you just subscribed that was awesome now your patrons it's even more awesome uh if you'd like to join them and like have chats with us on the patreon only um whatsapp group or see behind the scenes etc then just pop down in the description and uh follow the links uh if you can't afford to do that that's absolutely fine just um, comment like subscribe and if you have any questions don't you don't have to rely on being a patron to get hold of me message me email me whatever I will always try and help if I can if I can um, anyway let's get on okay so here it is let's have a look now on here it what's it got can we see that at all comfort weather center five in one black or Schwartz if you're German um, 180 to 220 volts, 5 volt AC power adapter and UK plug included. It needs three AAA batteries, which is 1.5, oh, that's for backup, and then three double A's, and that's for one's got double A, one's got triple A, as far as I can tell. And that's got all these little icons, which I assume mean things like um, indoor and outdoor temperature stuff. But we'll, we'll learn that as we go along. Let's have a look. Okay, information, the little indoor bit, an empty bit of stuff, what is this, oh this is about the batteries and stuff, yep. Okay, so this is what you get in the box and I think from just looking at it, I've got to read through the um, the instructions, but I assume this is for mounting it to something, either to the floor of something or to like the wall, for example. And then this would be for connecting the whole thing to some sort of pole, um, if you're not connected it to the wall. But I'm not 100% sure, and then obviously this is the bit that goes in here, etc. Now you've got the main body of it, and then this is the bit that goes inside. Something I have noticed which I quite like, and I always big companies up that do this, it's something simple, but basically this is the bit you connect to the wall, and then this connects to the actual device, rather than having to, you know, figure out how to connect it to the wall, etc. I know it's something little, but I always like that. Right, give me a few minutes, I'm going to read the instructions and I'll be back. Does that look daunting as hell to anyone else? Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, I've read the whole thing and basically, I say read, I've flicked through the whole thing, had to read a few bits. The majority of it is just like the, the software side of things, how to how to set this, what information is what, etc. So I'm just going to do what I usually do. What's that? It's already got a mark in it, I'll send it back. Um... I'm just going to put batteries in it, so that there's double A, so this will be triple A, so we'll start with whatever I get in my pocket first, all of them, hey, so let's put the triple A in first, which I think is in this one, isn't it, Was beeping at me. Hmm. 
on it. If at first you don't succeed, oh, you can see something there, but you can't actually see that in real life. It's not, I can't, it's not bright enough to be able to see it. Okay, so that's that. Oh, nearly. Now let's do my trusty precision screwdriver. Now that I've done a review on this and I really like it, but you can see the review. Um, and I'll try and remember to put it in the top thingy corner. Now I read about a minute ago, there's a little tiny piece of rubber here. Just be careful not to lose that because um, that's waterproofing and it says in the instructions. Please don't lose it, please sir. Right, my battery's about to die on the camera, so I'm going to have to change that in just a second, but I'll try and get this all in first. Okay, I'll change the battery and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there like so, and then see what the heck's in here. safe out of this stuff, right. So these two bits here are to go on the, the pipe clamp if we were to be clamping it down, which we're not going to be. I'm going to attach it to our fence like this. Okay, so let's start putting this together. One thing I'll just warn you is, there's a little arrow here. It's almost invisible, and there's a little arrow there. That means put them in this way because the other way is very very tight and I think it might end up getting stuck so like that. Okay now the same with this arrow to arrow right there we go Okay, as you may be able to see, there is lots of error messages all over this, and this keeps happening. It is literally two meters away from, well, just over two meters away from the actual weather station. So one, this is inside, obviously the weather station is outside, but there's just over two meters distance between them, and line of sight, because there is literally, a, it's in the window, and it just keeps coming up with error messages. The error messages are caused by the fact that the weather station keeps turning itself off, because the temperature's too low. The temperature outside is about 20 degrees C at the moment, but the second it goes below that, the batteries get too cold and it just stops working, like instantly. Um, you bring it in, you take the batteries out, you heat them up, you put them back in, it works fine until it gets cold again. So this does not work in cold weather, so not great. But also, even when it's hot enough out there for the system to work, it loses signal all the time. You'll literally be watching it and then suddenly it just says signal lost. And then you have to literally press the signal button. There's a little thing doer here that flashes while it tries to reconnect. Once it's found it again, it reconnects all fine and good. But it happens all the time. Other problems? Changing the time and date. If you change the time and date, it's fine. And then it's as if it just blacks out and has a little bit of a stroke or something. And then it's gone forward 24 hours or backwards 24 hours. It doesn't seem to make any difference. Um, it will do one of the two. And then suddenly, you know, it's three o'clock in the morning, but it thinks it's coming up six o'clock at night. There's still sunshine, etc. You know, it's it just, there's something intrinsically wrong with this and the station. Now, I can't believe that the weather station will only work in certain temperatures. So the fact that it drops, and it's not that it's cold, cold, you know, you go outside, we're talking degrees C here. So we're talking about 15 to 20 degrees C and it starts to have problems, you know. I live in the UK, that's that's our summer, you know what I mean? So yeah, very unhappy with this, and this unfortunately will be being sent back. I very rarely send stuff back, unless it is completely useless, but this does not have my seal of approval, sadly. Okay, 
I am so disappointed in it. It's an app. It's going back. It's literally. I'm sending it back to uh, Amazon today. It. If it gets too cold, the, it just turns off. The batteries basically don't work. Um, it loses connection. It's literally not even three meters away from it. The the box and the actual weather station are not even three meters away through a glass wall, a, like a glass window. Um, well, it's a door and window, and you know it's it's line of sight and it still loses connection. It just it was an absolute waste of money please do not buy this um i will be getting another one which i will do another review of as soon as i can um before i go i'd just like to thank my patrons and i'd like to thank you for watching see you again soon bye for now